Greetings everyone, in this video I'm going to help you decide between the MacBook Air 15 inch or the 13 inch. And we'll start off with the displays and the 15 inch is actually 15.3 inches diagonal and the 13 inch is 13.6 inches diagonal. Now beyond the screen being larger in the 15 inch and the 13 inch, there are a few other slight differences between these models but mainly the performance is the same. Now these MacBook Airs don't have an internal fan to keep them cool, so the 15 inch might dissipate the heat a little bit better. Leave me a comment if you think that's the case. But luckily Apple's M chips run cool. So both of these models have two Thunderbolt 4 slash USB-C ports, one MagSafe charge port, and one 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the other side. So we're going to take a look at the weight of both of these models to compare. And the 13 inch comes in at 2.7 pounds and it does feel very light. And picking up the 15 inch, the 15 inch comes in at 3.3 pounds, so a little bit heavier. So a little bit more than half a pound heavier and it's wider and all that. Uh, so definitely Seems like a bigger and heavier laptop, but feels thinner and lighter than a lot of other laptops at size. So some slight technical differences. The MacBook Air 15 inch has a six speaker sound system with force canceling woofers, and the MacBook Air 13 has four speakers. And then just picking each one up, uh, just like a side carry, if you were just carrying it in your office or wherever you're walking to, just feeling the weight difference on each side. Each one doesn't feel too bad, but the 13 inch definitely seems smaller, more like a tablet. So next we're gonna do a backpack test of the weight um, as a college student would need to carry it around. And we'll try the 13 inch first. Check out the weight on that. Seems fairly light, not a big issue. Now we'll try the MacBook Air 15 inch in the backpack. It does fit. Some backpacks might be a little bit harder to get it in there, but this backpack's medium size. And we're trying that. Might seem a little bit heavier, but still manageable. And we'll see which one this college student prefers, and that is the 13 inch. But beyond weight, you might be faced with a hard decision, bigger screen or smaller screen for the kind of work you need to do at work or at school. So we're gonna take some measurements on the display's height. The 15 inch MacBook Air is about one inch taller. And taking the trackpad measurement, the MacBook Air 15 inch trackpad offers roughly 34% more space. So if you're someone who uses gestures, the 15 inch feels more like a magic trackpad. And the keyboards on both models, I'm happy to say, are exactly the same size. Now I did some research on table trays on airplanes and the MacBook Air 13 inch will fit most comfortably on the tray as far as height, seven to eight inches. The 15 inch, eight and a half to nine and a half inches above the tray. It'll fit most, but it'll be slightly taller. And as far as the bottom of the MacBook Air fitting on the table tray, most trays are 16 to 17 inches wide by 9 to 10 inches deep. And so the MacBook Air 13 inch will fit no problem and you'll have a little space for things like a drink or a snack. But with the 15 inch, you probably won't have much space left on the table at all. And the front edge of the MacBook Air where the trackpad is might come a little bit off the table depending on your viewing angle and if the person in front of you has reclined the seat back all the way. And so checking out all the popular airplane models out there that most people take, uh, the 13-inch MacBook Air should fit no problem, and the 15-inch MacBook Air should fit in most cases, but be a little tight. And I thought it'd be great to see the split screen of, say, pages and numbers together if you were working on uh, some text document and a spreadsheet at the same time and the differences.
And here we'll see some differences in the real estate that your web browser has, uh, surfing some websites, in this case Apple's website, where you'll see how much content can fit in in each window without scrolling. And some things to think about that you will have to do more scrolling with the 13 inch MacBook Air. And then here, if you're doing a research paper, for instance, and you're going to be doing a lot of typing, the text itself looks similar size, but how much words you can see are definitely going to be less on the 13 inch than the 15 inch. So again, another thing to consider with the type of work you'll be doing. And then if you use spreadsheets a lot on your computer, the 13 inch versus the 15 inch, uh, you will have to scroll more and you'll see less rows and such uh, on the 13 inch. And I would advise if you live in a spreadsheet a lot that you definitely would probably want a larger screen if you're gonna be mobile a lot as well. And then if you're tasked with making presentations, uh, the image and the text in the presentation is going to be smaller, definitely smaller experience. Um, I didn't see a problem uh, with my eyes, but if you prefer a larger screen, you may want to go with a 15. And then if you edit photos or video even uh, a lot, then screen real estate is quite important. Although it's totally capable on the 13 inch, um, the 15 inch is going to give you uh, a lot more real estate for your eyes. But if you connect to a monitor mostly, then the 13 you could probably get by with. And then if you're into gaming or the occasional gaming, um, both screens perform pretty well in my opinion, but the sound's going to be a lot better on the 15 inch if you're not wearing headphones. Airborne is a great game, and oh dear, I think my insurance policy's going up again. And here's another game called Pools. Uh, we just navigate around like a VR experience. Pretty detailed. Color's a little bit different there on the right side because a different level. And then if you watch a lot of YouTube videos like I do, we can check that out to see what that looks like on both models. And then we can go into full screen, see what that looks like. And there you see the difference. So which MacBook Air would you choose? The 13 inch or the 15 inch? The 15 inch has a bigger screen, better audio, and a bigger trackpad. But the 13 inch also has a big advantage because it's small and lightweight if you travel a lot or walk around campus a lot, and it's cheaper. So that is the MacBook Air 15 inch or 13 inch. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.